What's going on guys, it's your boy Squeeps here with another video. So in today's video, we're gonna be working on my own car. I know that at the end of the last video, I said we're gonna be working on my little brother's Miata, but unfortunately, as I also said, we didn't record that much while doing the clutch change. Uh, so here's the parts that I already have. I have a new side blinker. I've got brake pad wear sensor, which these I'm not gonna be doing today. Today, I'm gonna be doing this, this, which is the third brake, the tail light that goes in the trunk, and maybe these. So this unfortunately is going to be my workbench because my little brother's kind of taking up all the garage space. Classic. I'm going to see if I can't do this with, with one hand. No, I think I'm going to need two hands. Oh, can't even see what I'm doing here. There you go, two hands on it real quick. Nice and easy. Luckily it's got these lineup holes. I was thinking about it. I might be kind of worried it won't come off. Or I won't be able to put it back on as straight as it was. But I was looking at this one earlier. It also has the lineup holes. So, it's a before and a an after. And there you go ladies and gents. After some vigorous rubbing to get all the previous sticky stuff off, it's done. Yeah. Line up the holes first. One hole, two hole, and a bunch of pressure now. Oh yeah, that's much better. So much better than this. Now I have two good sides. Good side one. Good side two. Soon. Soon. Now it's time for this thing. This thing was cracked and it's been gone. It fell out one day. But shouldn't be too hard to figure out, I hope. I guess we'll see. Yeah, no, right off the rip I see these. One, two, three. So we'll take those out. Say something wise. <laughs> what? Alright, as I was saying, she's out. Old brake light looks much better. Did you get that one where on Amazon? This one's on Amazon, yes. Yeah, 30 bucks. Hmm. Pretty good deal. I think this one. Watch it be like neon purple when you press it right. That'd be kind of cool, I'm not even gonna lie. I'm gonna leave it. Oh yeah, that looks... Yeah, I like that. Okay, keys out. Okay, so here's the first side. I think it's this one. Yep. So all you gotta do, luckily, these clips just go straight in, like that. There we go. So now that looks much better than just being dusty door still. Now I go to the driver's side. There we go, that looks so much better than before. A little scratched up or some glue or something on there, but much, much better. Okay, now these are for the most part pretty simple. You just slap two of these on here. Bada bing and bada boom. And then this is the way it goes together. Got the nut, washer, bolt, quick release. All of it connects right there. So, here we go. That's one side done. One side to go. And that's what it looks like before. And bam! Done. Not bad at all. Pretty easy, but a little bit harder than I thought it was going to be. Not like hard, hard, but you know. Took a little more time than I thought it would. But, there you go. Those are done. 
Next up is the brake pad wear sensor. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this tire off and we'll get to that. Okay, so this is the brake pad wear sensor that we're changing. I think you can see that on camera, it's all chewed up and destroyed basically. And here's the new one. First you unplug it from the caliper. No, you can't see. Look over there. All right there, plugs into the caliper right on the back side. Unplug it. Come on now, getting stuck everywhere. And then look underneath. And figure out where she plugs in at. Let me get you over here. So, following the line, it leads to here. I don't know if you can see that in there next to the blue thing. But that's what we're looking for. Out with the old. That's where the wire was disconnected. As you can see, there's a hole burned through. There's not even wires, there's nothing, there's no reading. Okie dokie, you're choking, and we got it all the way in. We're just gonna run it to the brick pad, or the caliper, or whatever. Now that you can't really see in the caliper hole thing, but I'm gonna try to get this in here. Alrighty, ladies and gents, that's going to be all for today's video. We're going to do a quick walk around of the car to see how it looks. So, as you of course saw, we did the quick release. One. And two. We did the, we did the side logo. Much better. As of right now, we have not done the hood logo or the front logo or whatever. But, it should be here within the next week. And I'll be putting it on right after this clip. It should be here today. I'm surprised it's not, but... It'll be here soon. Did a new tail light. Looks much better than open. And did a new brake pad wear sensor light. Or sensor. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to tune in next week. I'm sorry I missed last week. Um, and then next week we're going to be doing this. And I'm actually about to go ahead and put it in right now. I'm just going to film it and upload it next week. Bye.